morning, Lionhearts. Today we depart for Paris, but we don't leave for Paris until tonight. So that means we have plenty of time to put together a fun vlog, and I think we're going to do it. We're actually going to go do a filming location today from a wacky, not that obscure, but not that well-known movie either. And then we're going to go meet the person who is in this scene. So Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. And as for you two, you have the house to yourself for a few, so I expect you to act like you have some sense while I'm gone, okay? Yeah, yeah, right. All right, so what we're gonna do today is, I told you last week that I won a, a hangout with Angeline in her pink Corvette. And since I figured I'm gonna meet up with her today, um, why not go do her scene from Earth Girls Are Easy? It's a really wacky movie. It has tons of people who, uh, became pretty well-known celebrities um, kind of before they were anyone and it's a pretty funny movie she has one big scene in it well she's part of one big scene and I figured you know let's go check out where that was today so let's go for this one we very appropriately have to go to the valley and I would definitely consider this a very valley movie and we're gonna be taking this Laurel Canyon exit Well, right here in what's now a shopping center, used to be a 76 station and that's where they filmed Angeline's scene from Earth Girls Are Easy. Now this is a really, really funny, wacky movie and it, I think it's probably one of those movies that encapsulates the 80s in like the funniest possible way because everything in the movie is neon, it's very valley talk, it's just, it's an entertaining movie. And like I said, it's full of celebrities. Um, Gina Davis is in this, Julie Brown, Jeff Goldblum, Jim Carrey, Damon Wayans. Um, I mean, it's just full. And of course, Angeline. So the first shot we actually see from the movie would be right over here. There used to be um, gas pumps right over here. And you see um, also Michael McKeon's in the movie. Michael McKeon plays Woody. Now, what the basically the storyline of this movie is, is that... Um, this spaceship, these guys floating around in outer space have seen on their radar what Earth girls look like and they want to come down and meet them. So um, Michael McKeon is the pool cleaner that gets called in when a spaceship lands in Gina Davis's pool. Now the spaceship um, opens up and three aliens come out and they're all different color. One is blue, one is red, and one is like yellow and they're all furry and weird and everything. So Gina Davis not being freaked out by them, takes them to um, her friend's um, beauty salon to give them a makeover, and that's Julie Brown. And when she makes them over, they turn out to be Jeff Goldblum, Damon Wayans, and Jim Carrey. So right here in this scene, basically what's happened is they're trying to assimilate while they're repairing their spaceship that Gina Davis has broken. And um, so they go off with Woody, who's played by Michael McKeon, from uh, Spinal Tap fame. He takes them to the beach, and when they're coming back from the beach, they go to make a pit stop here. They pull his car in right over here where that gas pump would have been, and then Angeline pulls in around on the other side in front of them. So right over here in this center section where the trees are and everything, that's where the gas station used to sit, and behind it, now where the shopping plaza is and the coffee bean, that used to be a car wash. So a lot of the movie takes place well, it all takes place, this scene all takes place right here, but the uh, the guys are pulling out of the, uh, they basically try to throw the car in reverse so that Angeline can pull in and get gas and they put it in forward and they crash into her car and then they freak out. So they start basically backing up out of the spot and then they go out here where this bank is, that's where all the stuffed animals are that they crash into and they whip around going backwards and they go around the parking lot and they go in the wrong way back up through here they go up the wrong way into the car wash turns into a total crazy melee and the two people that are uh <laughs> that are driving this car it's uh Damon Wayans and Jim Carrey Jim Carrey has like a bleach blonde like surfer look kind of crazy to see that 
the entire gas station, everything from the movie is gone. But you can still see this. This was what's now a CVS. That was a thrifty ice cream place. And um, I'll go on the other side of this bank and you can, or I mean, yeah, on the other side of this bank and I'll show you the bank building that's over there is in the shot. You can see when they're, when they eventually uh, basically steal Michael McKeon's car and drive out and take off that way. And then that's the bank building that you can see across the street when they're driving the car out of here, when they're stealing the car. And of course, Michael McKeon's, uh, his license plate says deadhead. So he's not even upset they're taking the car. He actually thinks it's pretty cool. Angeline's car would have basically been parked kind of like right here. And the gas pump would have been right over here and their car would have been parked right there. Now you can see here, there are two CVS on either side of the street where the CVS is over here. That used to be a Ralph's and you can see that sign in the movie as well. And then the very last shot you see for this scene basically is taken from that corner, probably a little elevated up on the, the roof and it looks down on the gas station over here. So I'll try and get a similar shot to show you. And you can see this Laurel Canyon sign in the, uh, the scene as well. So right there is where the 76 station would have been that they filmed it all. And here's a side view of where all of that melee would have happened in the scene. I'm going to cut in different clips so you'll know what I'm talking about. Now as far as Angeline, how she got involved in this, she's not really an actress. She, she kind of got her start because her boyfriend was in a band and then she joined his band and she put out a couple of records, but then she found somebody that was willing to invest in the idea of just putting up billboards of her everywhere um, and putting her phone number on there and just her becoming famous for being on billboards and for being famous. Not really a model, not really, you know, that's really what she became known for. And for decades, they've had her billboards all over town. Sometimes they've had like, they said at one time they had a couple of hundred. Wow, it was a loud car. They said at one time there were a couple of hundred up at one time. Now there's always a few somewhere. If I can find any in town, I'll show them. But that's really what she's known for is, um, is being in her pink Corvette and driving around Hollywood. So this is kind of the positioning that we'd see when Angeline is filing her uh, report with the cops. And they'd say, can you describe them? And she just points to two guys randomly and says, I'm not sure, but I think those are the guys. And the two cops go, well, that's good enough for me. And they go and grab them. And it turns out to be Woody. Now the old gas station is a uh, half little seating park area and then on the other side of this wall right here is the uh, the ramp that goes down underneath for parking underneath and then right over here where this yogurt land sign is and everything that's where the car wash would have been that Damon Wayans and Jim Carrey back the car all the way through we're heading out of here but they're having a little outdoor park or something here. All right, gang, I uh, just double checked everything that I'm taking to Paris with me, double checked all my bags, make sure I have everything. I think, I think I'm packed and ready to go. I think we're ready to go off and meet Angeline now. Are you guys ready for this? I think this is gonna be a pretty interesting experience. When I showed this the other day, I somehow wasn't putting two and two together that this was Tarantino's handiwork. This is the, uh, I've vlogged this once before, it's the Earl Carroll Theater, and this is also where Chevy Chase's TV show was when he had that short-lived show, but this is where the, uh, the Doors film one of their live TV performances here at the Aquarius, and I saw it and just for some reason didn't even think of the fact that, yeah, Tarantino would have changed this back to the way it originally was in the late 60s for his movie. Here she is, here's Angeline. And we are going to have the Angeline special drink that they make for her. And check out all the great Angeline merchandise. If, yeah. if you buy any of this stuff, it goes towards putting up more billboards. And we're actually going to go by and check out one of the billboards today. She is the billboard queen of Los Angeles. I want you all to be lusting over my goodies. Ooh.
riding with Angeline. How awesome is this? And the famous pink Corvette. This is Angeline's music. Looking straight ahead, everybody. We're gonna see Angeline's billboard right up above us. Check that out. There she is. There you are. And that was my day with Angeline. Well, it was a pretty cool experience. She wouldn't let me um, interview her or anything like that. Well, she would, but she charges for it because that's how she pays for the billboards and I just didn't have that kind of money on me. But um, pretty cool experience hanging out with her. And I did um, end up giving her my sunglasses because they matched the green dress that she was wearing so well that we just kept looking at it and I'm like, you can have them, so. Well, that was truly a real Hollywood experience. Now, we sat and had coffee for about a half an hour. We had her, uh, her famous Angeline um, signature coffee, and it was pretty good, and we sat and talked, and basically she just, you know, she's all about good vibes, and she just basically lives her life to, uh, to put out goodness in the world. So she said she doesn't want to make a, have a movie about her. She doesn't want any of that kind of stuff. You know, she just wants to live her life and spread joy. Now let's go see if we can't find that Frankenberry billboard. Well, she did give me her card and asked me to get her a little good luck charm uh, Eiffel Tower in Paris and bring it back for her. So we'll try and do that. Well, this will certainly be an interesting send off for Paris. That's for sure. And up here wearing all white, like jumpsuits, they're filming a video. See him getting right across the street. Not sure who the band is, but they're playing the Palladium tonight. One of the other questions that I did ask Angeline was if she ever was approached about getting a star or wanted a star, and she said she didn't want one because she didn't want people walking all over her. Makes sense. Well, just like in the vlog the other day. Now we're walking by the old uh, NBC Paramount, and that Chase Bank that we saw earlier over at the filming location is the I guess you'd say the brother or sister to this. They both had murals done in that same fashion. This one's dedicated to um, those of the silent screen, but the one over there was, I think to the, um, the pioneers, the, cause I saw they had like gold pans and they were doing gold rush stuff in the art there. Man, we're just seeing Corvettes all over the place over here. Now I'm back to where we started. I'm pretty close to the billboard now. Look at it up there. Oh yeah, she wasn't kidding, there it is. She did say they compensated her for it, for using her, uh, her likeness, so. It's a pretty good billboard. <laughs> Frankenberry. Who doesn't love Frankenberry? I always love this crazy building, man. So much going on, that's a Emerson College building. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I'm going to take off to the airport, and when you come back tomorrow, we will be arriving in Paris. I want to thank Karen Stefanini and Rexy for making a contribution to my channel. Thank you all for watching. Come back and see me tomorrow when we explore Paris, France. Well, at least we'll arrive there. Have a great night. We'll see you all then. Goodbye. Make a story, make a story.